at the World Economic Forum in Davos. The topic of income inequality is the top of the agenda. And it's not just the Occupy protesters in igloos that are bringing it up, but those attending the conference, including many of the world's richest people. The forum's global crisis report names severe income disparity as the issue most likely to affect the world over the next 10 years. How bad is this problem? Our big picture panel has some thoughts on that. Bill Robson is the president and CEO of the C.D. Howe Institute. Aaron Weir is an economist with the United Steelworkers of Canada. And Craig Alexander is senior vice president and chief economist at TD Bank Financial Group. So first of all, I should just check with all of you. Do we all agree income disparity is a bad thing? Sure, yeah, we can start yes. with that. Wait no, okay. a second. Wait no. <laughs> a second. I don't agree with that at all. Yeah, I, I was afraid of that. As we address that all around the world, and you look at, pick any country, take Spain, for example, is it not true that a country like that goes into a period, of, as I call darkness, when they elect a social government, and they spend like drunken sailors? Then, after they can't afford it anymore, they elect a government to try and clean the mess up, which is generally more to the right and more capitalist and oriented. That's where we're at now. Socialist governments have trashed countries all around the world by not putting the fundamentals of capitalism in place. That's why we're, How where we're at. How does this relate to the income and inequality thing? I should thing. agree with it because it's true. Tell me that's not the case. Because uh, this inequality is not really an issue. What we're dealing with is, is debt, people looking at a ca catastrophe in these countries and saying, oh, it's the richest fault. Yeah, but there's actually a connection between inequality and debt. I mean, if you think of the income scale as a ladder, increasing inequality uh, makes the rungs move farther apart. So people need to stretch uh, ever more, borrow ever more to try to get to the next rung. Uh, so it's not just uh, the World Economic Forum in Davos. It's also the IMF and the OECD that have observed that this huge growth in inequality is one of the major causes of rising household debt as people uh, aren't really making enough money uh, to, to afford a decent standard of living, so they're borrowing and borrowing. So give us a solution. Well, a more equal distribution of income so that people have a, a good enough income to afford to buy the things they're oh, producing. So steal the money from the rich and give it to the yeah, poor. Yeah, I would actually say that a more egalitarian uh, distribution of, of income and wealth is a precondition for the kind of economic so, growth that Craig says he wants. Are you talking about communism? So. Uh, and, no, and it see. isn't as bad here, and one of the reasons it isn't as bad here is because we have better public education than the U.S. does, and it is providing more equality of opportunity. I'm worried about this because I think that the technological changes do matter a lot. We've only seen the beginning of some of the job displacement that's going to happen. Translators, uh, uh, there's uh, cashiers, there are a lot of jobs that are going to be disappearing over the next little while and we do need to make sure that people are, are ready to uh, step up to the next challenge. In Canada we've been protected because construction is still strong. So construction is a trading these workers. Construction is a great place for a low skilled person to earn a good wage but we've got a housing bubble it's going to pop so we have to pay attention to this and the skills upgrade is the only way you can really get there because more time Taxes, more transfer payments, more people working in the public sector. That's a, th those are all dead end things. You can't do much there. You've got to provide the skills. Well, I'm and, happy and, to agree that we should invest more in education, but that actually isn't an accurate description of the income distribution we're seeing. I mean, that doesn't address the fact that you've had this explosion of income and wealth at the very top I, end. I have to wrap it up well, before we get that. to tax that. the rich, okay? We've got to get out of here before that subject yeah, comes up. <laughs> right. yeah. Thank you we all for being here. Table. Good to see you.